So the leg break, the palm, facing the batsman, rotating right to left. I'll just let a couple come out of my hand, try and stay within the range of the camera. Ah! Here we go. It's going to pitch outside leg stump. He could have kicked that away instead. The top spinner, the thumb's facing towards the batsman. And as you can see, so too is the seam. So that when I rotate my wrist over the ball, the seam is going straight. That gets a lot more bounce. So, leg break, top spinner. Ah! Got him! Knocked him over. And that went straight on. That was the, uh, the over spinner. A bit of bounce there. Now the googly, again, the seam has to move into the position so it can spin from that direction, from off stump to leg. So as you can see, the back of the hand now facing the batsman. The reverse of the leg break. If I lower that down, you'll see the seam now is in perfect position for a wrong one. Now what we need to do is also remember we have to impart spin. So I'll just show you how we flick the ball with our fingers to impart the spin. Easier said than done. So for all those coaches out there that think it's important for the boy to have a wrong one, it's not much good if he hasn't got a leggy. Because the more of these he bowls, the less likelihood there is to have a leg break. He, uh, he was going to mow it away towards square leg in any event, I think. Now, you've heard about the famous slider, uh, zutta, backspinner, call it what you will. It's actually the reverse of the top spinner. There's your top spinner, there's your slider. So, when it releases, the hand actually moves towards the batsman. You can see that seam now, and as I release it, you'll see it rotating backwards. Can you see that? That's easier said than done, too, I might tell you. That's out, I do believe. Taylanders play for the leg spin, and it's not the leg spinner, it's straight. If anything, it drifts in. So don't think you should be introducing this to 12 and 13 year olds, because you shouldn't. They've got to learn this one. This is the bread and butter ball. This is the one that gets you on. It's the one you go to when you're in trouble. It's the one you go to when you want a wicket. When your captain wants to conserve runs, it's the one you go to, it's your stock ball. It's a leg break. And then of course there's that fifth one, that ball that Warren came on the scene with, with the flipper. Uh, Bruce Doolan had one, Seth Pepper played in the Lancashire League had one, Richie Benno had one. A lot of guys have had flippers, but Warren's appeared to be more lethal. I think it's probably because his leg break spun that far and then you've got the, 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 the sliding ball uh, that the flipper is. Richie, Richie didn't spin it as far by a long stretch. This is the only time the thumb plays a role. Because most guys try to disguise it. Then as they come into their action, drop their thumb under the ball so that when they get to the bottom, they're in that position there. Then when the arm comes up over the top, we're actually in that position. And from there, it's quite simply squeezing the fingers together. Do it again for you. So flicking the spin fingers, spinning it backwards. Are you ready? Last, last one. Bang. Oh! There's the flipper. It comes out the front underneath the fingers rather than over the top of the wrist. And he generally will swing in if it gets, gets it right. And uh, he's controlled that nicely. So let me just show you that leg break, top spinner, googly, slider, and flipper. I know people have put ages on, or you shouldn't bowl a wrong one before you're 12 or 15. You shouldn't bowl a flipper before you're 17 or 19. Uh, I, I think the right time is when you're ready, but it wouldn't be before you had a leg break that you could bowl at will. Ball limp, round his legs. The reason we, we do this drill is because it's about your action, it's about your alignment, it's about your energy, but there's no outcomes. So in other words, you're not disappointed if it doesn't spin. So they bowl into the net, they're warming their shoulders up, warming their fingers and wrist up, 
and generally getting a feel about their action. See the alignment with the toes? He's trying to align the toes and the shoulder towards the batsman and then rotate his hip and shoulder over his front leg towards the batsman. Now that maximises your spin.